want to know how to fish the Tennessee River, just get into that channel and fish the ledges. Fish the edge of them drop-offs where the contour changes from Old River Channel up to where the old uh, farms and stuff used to be. The Tennessee River's been dammed up and the main river channel has been flooded. Now, it used to just be corn cornfields and farms and things as the river meandered through the land, but as it's filled up, you know, right beside me over here is just a big field that's been filled now. But if you, that's a good way to fish the Tennessee River, river uh, system, no matter if you're on any, any portion of the Tennessee River system. That's, that's the way I'm gonna approach uh, looking for these catfish. I don't necessarily look for the fish by themselves, but I look for places that would hold the fish. And these drops along the old riverbed is, is where I like to look, and that's where you can catch some big fish. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Wildcatters TV. Today I'm on Watts Bar Lake in Tennessee. It is on the Tennessee River and uh, we're gonna try out these planter boards again for the second week in a row. Uh, what we're doing this week is doing some controlled drifting. We have picked a good river channel. And one thing to remember guys, fish always, the catfish love edges. So if you can find any kind of edge that you can drift or stay, you know, control yourself on that, you know, ledges are real good. Uh, drops are real good. Anywhere where the contour changes and stays like that for a minute, that is a, a, a point that that the fish congregate to and they travel along too. So we're controlling our baits right on this edge or a ledge and I'm trying to keep it in about 50 foot, 48 foot, but it's real shallow over there. It looks like it's only 15 foot in places over there, but right here where my last planer board is, it's probably about 45 foot. So we're covering a, a nice portion of this ledge, controlling it with a trolling motor. And that's what we're, that's what we're doing today. Running these planer boards give you a better, uh, a wider spread of baits being offered down on this whole ledge contour change. So uh, the planer boards is, is a good addition uh, to your arsenal if you're going to be doing some controlled drifting for these big blue catfish. That's a nice one. He hit it like he meant it. It is a decent one though. Now, I got to stay maintained on my trolling motor too. There, I caught back up with him. There's his bubbles way back there. Here he comes, here he comes. Hey, that's a nice fish right there. All right guys, here we go. Our first fish of the day. These old planer boards, I don't know why I haven't fished with them before. We're probably in 40, oh look, I got another one right here too. Ooh, I got a double on. Oh, here's another good one. Fellas, we got a double on here. Oh, I got one in the net too. I gotta get out. Now we're having fun. We're still on track. If you kind of look what we're doing here on the depth finder, all right, we're just staying right close to that ledge. Like I say, the shallow water's just off to our, off to our right here. Oh, he's taking drag. He's taking drag. There we come. Another nice one. Oh, 
Oh, they're mean. I know that. They're mean today. You know I hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to put it right here in the old monster rod holder while I get this other fish out of the net, but I can't even net the other one. I've got total chaos going on right now. Total chaos. And we're deviating off of our spot, but All right, guys, we're going to put them in the live well because I had them out a little bit longer than I wanted to. And uh, we're going to keep them in the live well under some oxygen uh, for a little while. And then we'll let them go towards the end of the day. Make sure that they're all going to make it. Okay, we just caught them two fish. We've made another pass up through here and we didn't catch nothing. We got a couple little, little tags. So we're going to pack up from this particular spot and go try to find us another spot similar to this that we may right, be able to find. we're gonna go find us another spot. But just remember, fish the edges. Catfish love to travel the edges and ledges. Fish them, stay around them, and you're gonna find some fish somewhere. All right guys, we, uh, we're gonna turn these fish loose now. We just put them in the live well so that they would kind of regenerate uh, some strength before we turn them loose, so. They're gonna be pretty mean. But here's number one. Number two, good fish, uh, fall fishing guys, better get on the river and find a catfish near you. All right, let's go find some supper. Thank you guys for watching our videos, we'll see you in the next one.